box. I don't know what happened, but so you just so so here you just walk up level one and you spaced melee range to fizz. Yeah, I don't think I knew his E range properly. I, I like I thought I was outside of the E range, but I was not. Uh, there you gotta space the E. And then just slow push, right? I mean, it's fine. Whatever happens. Uh, here, I, just, I just don't. I don't know the the range of fizzy well enough. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. So here I would not click this way. It's useless. Click. I show you. So right here, after the trade goes off, because mm -hmm. you you know you misplayed a little bit with the E, and uh, he, you didn't know the E range, which is fine. Um, it's still winning for you. Right, because HP value and everything. Um, so this click is not the greatest. Your click is on cool is, is off of cooldown, like your auto, and this guy's on uh, CD. So you could just stand here, auto attack, because you have longsword and you do a lot of damage, and then you walk up, and then you threaten him on this minion here. Because mm. then if you do that, then he's forced to space down, and then he's forced to go like this on this minion. But by the time he's done that, you're kind of like already in his face. And right. your E's coming back up. Okay. I think that's something I probably don't do well enough. It's like looking at my hit minions HP values. Oh, that's very important. I think right now I'm like, okay, I need a CS. See, so like you click again, but you could have just autoed. And then here, instead of moving down, for example, this click here, there's no real uh -huh. intent behind it. Because he's still CSing this for free, and then he'll just move to this for free, and his E is still unavailable. Right. So there's absolutely nothing he can do. And you sustain, because you have the... Uh... Yeah, and then eventually you'll have static, right? And then, then it's like, yeah, LeBlanc is a little bit annoying. Uh, this is really, it's a really, really strong champion. Um, so then you click down again. You click up, you click down, you click up, useless click useless click and then you click down useless click right like the purpose mm -hmm. of this movement here is to take these two minions but it's like sure but we could have done that by standing here mm -hmm. because then we can still take these two minions but we can also hit him and now he's forced to stand back here He shouldn't be allowed to get, for example, this minion here. Shouldn't okay. be allowed to just touch that. He shouldn't be allowed to like get these minions. Shouldn't really even be allowed to hit this one for free unless he wants to lose a lot of HP. Mm -hmm. His E will still be on cooldown. So then you walk up and you have E and then you just threaten E. Your E is higher range than his E, so it's like winning. Yeah, so you auto, mm. great, okay. And now here again, right, it's useless to move up. Because what do you gain from moving up here? I don't know what the hell your Twitch is doing. Red into bottom side? He, he ganked oh, he mid ganked. level two from bot river. Yeah, yeah, but what did he do just now? He just did red buff, right, and he walked this way? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, Um, but whatever. Um. Anyways, I don't know level one fizz is cool. No, it's 16 seconds. 16 seconds, yes. Yours is like what? Eight, nine? I think it's 12. 12? Right chain? Okay, well, I mean, I know it's shorter, so you can use that time. It's shorter mm -hmm. and it's longer range. Right. You, have bet, you, are, you, have bet, you are better champion level one um, if you just space his E. Also, he's melee. And so here, by clicking up, it's like, why? What do you achieve? You're not looking to drop a ward. You're not really looking to, uh, like, I don't know what you're doing here. See, Fizz wants to go for this minion, mm -hmm. right? So just stand here. You could also stand right here, right? Like, you can stand here or here, and you can mm -hmm. hit him if he goes for a minion. But I don't see you doing that. I, I see you standing here, and you're you're clicking, like, up here. And then you click here again. I want you to go here or I want you to go here. Stand in A or stand in B because A and B corresponds to this. And then the second wave arrives and then, you know, obviously you have your ward. Now, I don't know what Nefiri does, okay? But right, I, I'm right. sure that he's not going to just kill you outright, <laughs> okay? Um, 
So it, we're not going to talk too much in respects to what Nefiri can do, but I would just take the ward and drop the ward here and then just chill. Get vision on it okay. at least. Because I don't know actually where Nefiri started. I have no clue because I was I was I was opening the OBS right. Um, yeah. Do you remember? Uh, bot, I believe, because they were late to lane. Okay, okay. And here again, right? Like, and then we I got vision of the fury when I warded the raptors, yeah. or like I got I the raptors were gone. So yeah, yeah. So like here, for example, here he can e like up to here if he double e's. Yeah. Like one yeah. e is here. Double e is like here. Yeah. Right, but if he double e's, he loses. And if he E's in general, he loses. Because you just walk up with E. With your chain. And abuse him with autos. Yes, so instead of standing back here, just stand right here. I said his electrocute's also on cooldown. Yeah, but it's like more like he should not be allowed to get this because it's like if he hits you, well now he's uh -huh. in trouble. And he wants this minion, but he should not be allowed. I mean, you can space this, and you can you can tag him with an ally. He should not be allowed to. Like what you're doing here achieves nothing. What you're doing mm -hmm. here, what you do he if you stand here, it achieves something. Okay. All right. Uh, like same thing here, but this is like kind of awkward because this is like really claustrophobic angle. But down here, uh, how it's do like, I? It's more space. How do I recognize this when I'm in lane? Is my question. Oh, look at your minions. Look at his minions. So, like, right here. You look bottom for a second. I'm not entirely sure why. You told me to. You're like, what is Shaco doing or something? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. I told you to. Yes. Yes. You see Shaco in River? Yeah. Yeah. See, I want you to look down. See, what if Shaco's running to you? You just go down there and get a free kill. Because right. she, I okay. saw Shaco running that way. Like, by, by looking at this immediately, it's very crucial. Like You, you look at like what's going on. Fizz wants okay. to do this. Uh, sure. Okay. I would just slow push. I would not auto the wave, by the way. There's no okay. need to auto the wave. I was trying to get level 2. Because uh, I need one more melee for level 2. Well, why do we have to even gank on this? I don't know. He what, wants to. What, like, I, I have to. If Fizz kills have to do these minions. Wants, right? If Fizz kills these minions, uh -huh. these red casters move up, which means that they lock here. Uh -huh. Which means that now for Fizz to farm the wave, he has to stand in area A, not in area B. Which means right, that but I can't, there's more I can't angle. just like spam yes, you can. You can tell this off. rat to back off and wait. <laughs> you can tell him to back off and wait. Now, honestly speaking, sure, what you do here is fine too. You auto attack, and then you W in because he goes for the minion because he's not expecting it. But he shouldn't go in for this minion because in a real game, if LeBlanc is about to hit level two, why would I, as Fizz, stand here? Right. Now, if this, if if I'm Fizz and I I have no like knowledge of like uh, enemy Twitch, right? And it's like, okay, well, Twitch is not there. Well, it doesn't matter if Twitch is there or not. I should never be going in for this minion anyway if I'm Fizz level 1. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, after the initial trade, I got a little bit scared of him. Just because I was like, okay, maybe I don't know. Like, I lost confidence in my knowledge of the matchup because I got hit by that E in that first trade. I mean, that was just spacing. Yeah. Uh, so here, if you do catch aggro, uh, he does kill, but it's a little bit sus. So it's like whatever. Anyways, um, do do you see like like whatever, right? It's like spacing errors. You're I having. understand. It's it's. I'm not. I'm not like, like, cause I'm not optimizing what I could be doing in lane. At all, yeah. Uh, man, I hate this replay thing. It's so weird. Yeah, so like even now, right? Like whatever. Like here, he has no cold. Isn't he? On, isn't he on CD? Um. E, at two eleven. My E's fourteen seconds. Yeah, yeah. So his, he's around this. He's sixteen. Yeah. 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 So wait for it. He's on CD now right here, now. Here, instead of walking. It's like the same as my W, walking, I guess. Instead of walking this way. Uh huh. And, and 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 I mean I don't know this guy's basing so I don't know what the house what he's doing he's it's really weird the way your twitch is jungling, um walk down, 
drop a mm -hmm. ward on raptors and then don't w like save your w because you know i think that's theory. i think that's what i end up doing and then just walk up and start hitting them with autos right no but you're like too slow with it like do you see these yeah. random things you're like random clicks you're doing yeah i'm just clicking sideways like up here down here walk down yeah. okay maybe we don't get them on this that's cool whatever drop the ward on raptors because you need some information of some sort right no is probably finished topside clear right he's not finished but he's probably topside somewhere um which means that he's gonna gank you from these angles mm -hmm. right um alternatively i guess you could also ward down here like you could ward here like your raptors right but this is a little longer to do if you go over mm -hmm. here and you ward the uh, the top side river this is gonna be uh you're not gonna be able to just keep autoing him mm -hmm. you know especially because his e is still down for like three more seconds which is fine, because you can always drop the ward, come down, and still hit him. Right? That's okay. That's good. Alternatively, you can you can walk down, and you can drop the ward here. Raptors are definitely not going to be up. And then you yeah. can start hitting him. Because he's going to go for this minion, and then this these casters shouldn't be taken for free. All right? Then you just pull the wave, and then you base. So I, like, punishing CS, I think, is, I guess, the main thing from this lane phase or I, like my, my clicks sideways i honestly don't know why i do them i think it's a well there's no intent either like you're not it's like the word is like, like an, okay, now you drop it but it's like whatever it's, I mean, it's he, like a it's like an adhd thing almost i'm just like clicking to click like right here right like why is he allowed to go in for autos yeah yeah i see what you're saying if you hit him if you auto him your blues hit red like you you need to get you need to get level three in this lane man so yeah if i'm if i'm autoing him then his wave's not pushing and he's not getting damage on creeps i see yeah one sec right. but yeah like i mean it's all good i mean you're chilling this lane is like really one. So like here, for example, you could have hit him. Mm -hmm. And then here, and I think in all these, you shouldn't be able to hit. There's like, a lot of there's a lot of instances where I could be hitting him, and if I did hit him in all the instances, he probably would have to base by now. Yeah, you can't play the game. Yeah. Look at that. Could have hit him again. Could have hit him again. I think I, I'm just I'm just CSing at max range is what I'm doing. Why? And now he's level three. Yeah. And then now the now, now, now he could try to all in you. Mm -hmm. Like, like he should just try to like fight you, because now he can't play anyway. I would walk up here, stand here, so that he angles down. Look this is he... never possible, right? Like Rakan, like he's just gonna e. Like, the only I mean, way the, we kill is if he ease onto me. I mean, the, this is, the dude's like diamond. He can't play anyway. So I, I, I really feel like what's going to happen here is that you just stand up in area A. And if you stand mm -hmm. in area A, Fizz is not going to stand in area B because it's directly in range to your autos. So mm -hmm. if you stand in A, right, he has to move down to C. Yeah, he has to play opposite side. But yes. I, even if he does... And then Rakan, although, you know, could have a brain and perhaps could come behind the wall... What yeah. if we're, what if we're caught, what if we use you know our brain cells a little as support and we come through here? Do we not have all this range to set something up? Yeah. Why on earth do we as a support have to go through here? This is the same way our Twitch came in, just randomly going in full terrorist mode. Right, like he could have waited. Mm -hmm. Likewise, here the angle is really poor. So in this in this situation, it's really crucial that you move up, up, and then you angle him down. But if you stand where you're standing, if you stand here, he stands up here. He wants to stand right. directly opposite from you. Yes, that that that's the concept I definitely understand. Um. I don't know why I didn't. I would just be baiting either. the hell out of him here. I would just be completely baiting the hell out. Of him. Like, in what world should he ever go for this? 
If he hits you with E, don't you just W? Like, uh, uh, sorry, you don't have it up yet. But if he hits you with E, don't you just have E yourself? Like, how's he gonna get out? Hmm. How's he well, gonna if get? Well, he in. If he cues in first, I guess I have to space the Q. Yeah, so just don't E. He, you can yeah. get Q'd, and it's okay. You pop potion, and then he dies. Where is he gonna Q you? Like. And then what happens? It's Fizz level 3 with Corruption Potion. You have Pot. Yeah. Rakan is right here. The point of this is to get Rakan to... For, to get him to E so Rakan can just show up. And then you mm -hmm. hold your E. You don't just use it, right? And then he dies. But you're, you're playing max range. Yeah, see how afraid of you of you he is? Yeah, I think I should have been playing like what I did, just did there. I should have been doing that the entire lane phase. Yes. Now here, just base. Wait, don't hit the minions. Just base. Yeah, just base. He's gonna base and TP back. Right. So if he TPs back, he's TPing to a pretty mm. bad wave state. Yeah. At which you can call someone in to. You know gank him but by staying it grants you nothing because all what's going to happen now he's going to tp back and then you're like ah shit now i gotta give the wave i'm not going to freeze against fizz full hp as you're like perma dead you know um right so then the alternative call in this case just t just base now if you don't do this right if you do what you do what he does is he just gets to crash off and if he gets to mm. crash off then it's like doomed because then he gets he gets the lane to return into him and then it's like well Not the greatest. I would base here, but you're hitting the wave. You're actually crashing. Yeah. The, you're actually trying to crash the wave back into him, which is like really, really, really bad. So now it's like your thought process in the game was like, oh, I'm going to hold it. <laughs> I was like, all right, how? And then you realize you can't hold it because the fish is just very strong because he has a uh, he's level four and he can burst you with electrocute. Now, imagine this was done patiently. Imagine we base, imagine we get a rel like a good lane state, yeah. and then imagine we bait out an E, and then we have our teammates come in and just kill him. But instead, now we're in this weird situation where it's like, we need a push out, but we can't get a push out. So the only thing now what we can do is we can just shove and then leave, right? Now, this guy sucks at the game, okay? <laughs> That's why he's di di he like dies here, right? Um, and this whole situation plays the way it plays out because he's just not good. Yeah. But uh yeah, this is not how we want to play our League of Legends. Okay. Yeah. So what was your peak by the way? Masters ADLP. AD, okay, okay, okay. Not very high. That's fine. I mean, it's better than most but, people, honestly. Like, I, I think I think I can be like much, much better. I don't think you're a bad player at all. I think that you're just not thinking, that's all. You don't really yeah. have any goal or intent, you're just kind of playing for fun. That's a problem, right? In the sense where, like, you're playing far too casually, like, you, you're not sticking to certain rules and principles in the game.